Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your general love reading for the second half of October 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can book a personal reading with me if you would like. And also for this reading the roles can be reversed. All right, because it is general. All right, Sagittarius, the very first card out for you, we have cycles. Okay, so it could be that something is repeating itself over and over and over again, or it has been, all right? But there's definitely an emphasis on this particular cycle um, for the second half of October. So let's see, let's get into the tarot, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs last couple weeks of October. Let's see what is going on with these cycles. For the situation, we have the sun. Okay, so Leo energy crossed by the devil, Capricorn. All right, so some of you might be dealing with a Leo or with a Capricorn, or maybe you have these signs or your person has these signs in their chart. Um, okay, so there is a a situation here that actually could be happy. Um, this is definitely a connection that you have with somebody that could be very, very happy and fulfilling. Um, but that devil, right? That's, that's the cycle. There's a negative, vicious cycle. So it could be that, you know, there's something that, you know, they're doing, which um, creates a reaction in you. And then that reaction in you, you know, kind of perpetuates what they're doing and then it just goes again and again, or, I mean, it could be anything. All right. Um, let's see, let's move on and then we will clarify, but whatever the cycle is, I mean, it is, it is pretty toxic. Um, and it's preventing that happiness. So for the recent past, we have the nine of cups. Okay. So definitely this is, you know, somebody that you've had this, like, like a, a very like enjoyable connection with right like th this is someone that you when you were together or when you spent time together regardless of whether you were together romantically or not you know things just seemed so beautiful <clears throat> let's see for your energy we have the lovers okay so gemini also showing up here the hanged man all right for them, we have the King of Wands and the Ten of Swords, all right. And for you coming up, we have the Page of Cups or the Guidance for you. And for them, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so, wow, definitely, you know, this is, like I said, it's a very deep love connection. Um, but there is something here, the... You, you feel like you've been left hanging. You feel like you've been left hanging or you are just taking a step back and you're not taking much action. You're just kind of, you know, possibly looking at the situation from afar. Um, for them, this is really interesting because I see them like coming from a place of, you know, trying to maintain some kind of control, trying to overcome some obstacles, trying to, you know, really be successful here at something but then they feel defeated there's a sense of defeat and it does feel like you know they're feeling like there's just this really painful ending that that is happening um with that page of cups for you i feel like you know this is just the guidance or the message for you is to you know be in touch with your emotions Right, And if you feel like you want to express your emotions, there's nothing wrong with that. You can express how you feel. You can be, you know, open about your, your feelings. No need to hide them. There's no need to have ego get in the way or to, you know, not that you're playing games, but there's just no need to not express how you truly feel. Um, but for this person, I see them avoiding that a little bit. So let's actually clarify. Let's see what is happening here. How can we break this cycle? So let's see the sun with the devil.
for the main situation. The sun again, the page of wands, and I actually feel like getting a third one. We have the hanged man. Okay. Always keep in mind, don't forget this, that the roles can be reversed. Okay. Sagittarius. Okay, so strong Leo showing showing up here. Um, just overall. So definitely let me know if some of you are dealing with a Leo. Whatever this vicious cycle is, I feel like it has to do with somebody pursuing happiness, like beginning to take steps to pursue that happiness, taking a new path, right? Which that new path would actually break the cycle, but then stops. Almost like, you know, not going through with it 100%. It's like, okay, well, I, I took some steps, now let me step back and see what happens. And then it's kind of like that just kind of leads things to go back to the cycle. Let's see the Nine of Cups for the recent past. The Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm getting here is, um, yeah, that even though there was this, you know, very nice energy between the two of you feeling, you know, like from a love perspective that, wow, this is so fulfilling, this vicious cycle actually led to um, a lot of feeling feelings of deception, feeling deceived or feeling played or, you know, feeling like, neglected at the end of it um so it's like and i actually feel like this is because someone is trying to achieve something here but the way that they're going about it just ends up creating pain whatever it was that they tried to achieve um i don't i don't see it as being like with negative intentions I just see it as somebody like possibly wanting to do something in a way where it just kept them either in their comfort zone or kept them feeling comfortable in some way. So it's like there is a little bit of selfishness here, but it's not like intentional selfishness, if that makes sense. It's more like this is just how I feel comfortable, but it's happening at like a subconscious level. And I feel like that is what keeps them trapped whether it's you or them in this vicious cycle and these messages these energies could actually apply to both of you in different ways so just take it however it makes sense but whatever the case like this totally led to ultimately feeling uh, someone feeling left out in the cold feeling alone feeling betrayed okay Let's see the lovers for your energy here. The Page of Cups and the Emperor. Yeah, I mean, you're, you know exactly how you feel. You know exactly how you feel and I feel like you actually do express how you feel and you do so confidently. Um, so I don't know if, if you were doing that in the past, but that's what I'm seeing here for your for your current energy and it does feel like you are being encouraged to you know um again you know speak your mind speak speak from the heart don't let don't let ego get in the way or don't allow um like don't let a need for control to affect how you express your feelings like don't try to control what you say in terms of, you know, thinking that depending on how you say something, it might affect the other person. You know, no, 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 no. Just stick to how you feel. Honesty and how you feel is the way to go here is what I'm getting. Um, let's see. Let's see the hanged man. The seven of swords and the two of pentacles. Okay, yeah. See, so this is interesting because um, they have the seven of swords. It's showing up in your energy here. 
you know, you have the hanged man, it's showing up in the main situation here. So I actually feel like, a, again, like a, like a lot of these energies, like they're going to be overlapping for each of you. Um, so whatever this negative cycle is, I don't, I don't want to say that it's 50, 50 because I, because that's like a, that's like a common saying, right? That, oh, you know, like every argument it takes two for there to be that or um you know that there's always you know two sides to a story and that's true there is always two sides to a story and yes you know we all contribute to a particular situation and that's what i'm trying to get at but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's exactly 50 50 and that it's equally both people's responsibility for how things are i just don't believe that it's it's you cannot put like a number on it it's just it's not always 50 50 but that doesn't mean that there isn't at least something that you're doing that also contributes to the situation. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's affecting the other person's behavior, but the way that you are contributing to this vicious cycle, it could be that it's just affecting you. It, it just has to do with yourself. So just be mindful of that. Of And it could just be, you know, your reaction to this person going into this in and out of a particular cycle. So your reaction to that could be affecting your emotional state. And obviously it is because it's your reaction. <laughs> um, so I know that sounds a little complicated and vague and, and it is because everybody's situation is different, but basically the point is, you know, to also be aware of what your contribution to this is and that's I'm not putting blame on you for anything this doesn't mean you should blame yourself for anything it's just how are you contributing in a way where it's not making you feel good that's the message um, so basically it's like I almost feel like you might be like waiting um, for this person to go in and out of their cycles. I feel like for some of you, that's what this is about. Um, and that just, you know, makes it more difficult for you to cope with the situation. That's what I'm getting for some of you. And for others of you, it could be, you know, if you're just holding back, you know, how you truly feel and it just gets bottled up. So allow yourself to speak how you feel, whether it's to this person or whether it's to your own self. And then just be mindful of, you know, like, does this situation, does whatever this other person is going through, does that keep you stuck in any way? Like, are you just holding on to that? And avoiding other things or avoiding, you know, dealing with other things in your life because because of that. So that could be a part of your, your contribution to this. So yeah, sorry that was so long-winded, but okay, let's move on. Let's see the King of Wands. Ten of Swords again. This is for your person, by the way. So they already have the Ten of Swords, are getting the Ten of Swords again, and the Three of Cups. All right. Um, yeah. So I feel like, yeah, it's this person that was trying to achieve something and whatever it is that they were trying to achieve or succeed at. And I feel like, you know, what they were trying to succeed at is to just, you know, um, keep everything happy <clears throat> on a superficial level. In some way, this might be involving other people. Um, but whatever that is, they're quickly realizing that no, like that leads to pain trying to achieve something in a way where it's just, <clears throat> it's not bringing that happiness, it's doing the opposite. But having both, having both Ten of Swords out <clears throat> from both decks on in their energy, this is definitely showing an ending. All right, so I do feel like this is an ending to that, to that cycle in some way. And that's, this is kind of similar to Leo's reading, actually. Um, <clears throat> I feel like that's happening because they have to recognize that, well, when I do things in this way, what does it lead to? It leads to this pain. Let's see the Ten of Swords. Ah, 
the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. I do see them resisting this <clears throat> this ending a little bit, um, the ending of this cycle. I feel like, you know, they're going through a lot of pain. Actually, they're feeling defeated by the way that they have been <clears throat> trying to achieve something or <clears throat> whatever it is that they're trying to do here. Trying to, you know, find their power, trying to, I don't know, whatever. It's like they're recognizing that it's not working, but they're, they're still a little bit resistant to that. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me see actually um, that Seven of Swords for what they're moving towards here. Let's see. For, and then we'll see that Page of Cups for you. So let's see Seven of Swords. Temperance and the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So it's taking them, I feel like it's been taking them a little bit of time. And I feel like, you know, there has been um, this like avoiding of doing things differently for quite some time. And it does feel like they're kind of trying to avoid it, to be honest. But Spirit is saying here with this Temperance card, okay, that's Sagittarius. Um, so that is your energy and the Ace of Wands. They are trying to avoid <clears throat> going about things in a different way, but there is some kind of a new beginning here. All right, I feel like a balance is coming into the picture and they are moving towards doing things differently here with this Ace of Wands, having like, okay, like I need to start over. I need to do things in a different way and feeling that motivation to do so. But... It's like <clears throat> things need to be done in the wrong way first. And I feel like they are. And I feel like that is coming to some kind of a completion here. All right, that cycle. Let's see that page of cups. Which is for you. We have death and we have the fool. Wow. See, there it is. You're, end you're ending your cycle. <laughs> You're ending your cycle and I feel like that's actually what's going to give them that <clears throat> motivation to do things in a different way in their cycle. And it's like you have a cycle, they have a cycle, and these two cycles, they're like intertwined because they both affect each other. <clears throat> so definitely there is something that you are putting an end to and then you, because of that, you're having a new kind of a beginning. You're taking a different route here. And whatever that different route is, it is very much attached to you being in tune and in touch with your feelings. So even if you have feelings for this person, even if you love this person, yeah, you know, you're open about that, but you, <clears throat> you're also in touch with the side of your feelings that is also telling you, you know, you need to, to end something here, whatever that is. And I feel like you would know. <clears throat> All right, Sagittarius. Wow, okay, a little complicated, but that was it. Those were your messages. I hope that this somehow made sense to you. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye.